Today, we shine the spotlight on the African woman as she arises and shines. Here at Great News Out of Africa, the woman has a special place on this platform because we believe the African woman shall be the emancipation for the African continent. From the land of trigger, to the land of sound, to the land of manifestation, and all across Africa, welcome to Great News Out of Africa. Our first shout out today goes to Ngozi Iguiela, the first African and the first woman to be appointed Director General of the World Trade Organization. The body that deals with international rules of trade will be headed up by a woman. Nigeria's Ngozi Onkonjo Iwala will also be the first African to take on the role of the Director General of the World Trade Organization. Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwiela was appointed by the World Trade Organization with broad support from WTO members, including the European Union, China, Japan, and Australia. An MIT trained economist, Dr. Iwiela is an international development professional and global finance expert with over 30 years of working with governmental and international organizations in Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, and North America. She also served as Nigeria's finance minister twice, from 2003 to 2006, and again in 2011 until 2015, briefly acting as the foreign minister in 2006. As a true trailblazer, she was the first woman to hold both positions in the Nigerian government. I will say that it's both exciting and uh, daunting at the same time uh, to be here because I take the reins of the WTO at a time of great uncertainty and, and challenge. Dr. Iwiela said a key priority for her would be to work with members to quickly address the economic and health consequences brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. We want to rejuvenate and reform the WTO to be the organization that it needs to be for the 21st century. Dr. Iwiela set the internet ablaze with images of her as a new WTO boss were circulating with her clad in her unique dress style of spectacularly designed Ankara wear, beaded necklace and gele around her head. She immediately set off a riveting social media trend with the hashtag Be Like Ngozi Challenge. The basis of this challenge was to encourage women, men, young boys and girls to embrace who they are and not be afraid of their unique African wear, even in professional settings, as obviously Dr. Iwiela does so well. Our second shout out goes to Bilha Ndirangu on her historic appointment as the African Leadership Academy CEO. She becomes the first non-founder CEO of the Academy. People want their solutions solved. Um, I, I think that's a universal need. Digitization becomes one way to get those solutions solved in a manner that's a lot more scalable than say we have to do these things um, in a brick and mortar way. Also an MIT engineering graduate, Ms. Dirangu becomes the third CEO of the Africa Leadership Academy. Upon her appointment, Ms. Dirangu said that Africa presents a lot of opportunities and has great untapped potential, encapsulated in her richest resource, her youth. She added that no nation will be able to thrive in the future without technology. A young entrepreneur who's looking for SMS uh, gateways or looking for payment gateways, they have this idea, they're sitting in their dorm room in campus, um, they have no idea where to go to. And so that was, that was actually the reason we started Africa Talking because we said we, ha we have access to this kind of infrastructure, is there a way to democratize it? And if you do that, then I feel like Africans can go wherever they, you know, for as long as the opportunities are given to them, they'll thrive. So now is the right time to raise the right leaders and global shapers who will secure Africa's place at the table. 
If you have or come across any stories you'd like us to feature on this platform, do feel free to drop us an email or send us a message on any of our social media platforms. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you.